So the first release of all Madden Legends just dropped in the game. It is Saturday, August 20th. And I'm just gonna run through these real quick. I'm on my.gg and I just kind of I want to rank these guys to start the year in terms of how useful they're going to be to your team. So we're just, there's 10 of them. We're just gonna rank them one through 10, starting with 10. We got I got Sam Mills at 10, man. And uh, you can see like the uh, the prices are probably a little bit higher than even what they are when you're seeing this video because they just came out at 11 o'clock but i mean 84 speed is a i mean it is a linebacker the stats aren't too bad 87 excel awareness play rec is kind of there but 84 speed a little bit slow and he's a linebacker he's not gonna be able to animate uh you can't get lurker on him you do you pick artist and stuff but um yeah no no lurker nothing like that so sam mills is at 10 for me but next we have at number nine, I have Tony Gonzalez at number nine, and his stats are nice. Uh, decent speed at 86, decent speed at 85, or Excel at 85, jumping's good, but doesn't get to any route running threshold at 90, obviously, this early in the year. And there's just other really good tight ends like Donald Parham, you have the free Dave Casper eventually. There's other really good tight ends. Next at number eight, got Mike Allstott here. Uh, it's, I mean, 84 speed, a little bit slow. Nice big running back. If you're looking for a big running back, I mean, 284 pounds. That's, you love that, right? Good carrying. Actually, decent excel. Can wiggle a little bit with the juke move, spin move. Good trucking. Um, might even be a dominant car, to be honest with you. But he's just really slow at 84 speed. Um, and maybe, hey, maybe this is really low. Maybe you guys are, uh, maybe this car's going to be just a monster and he's going to ruin Mutt for us all. But... I really like the more wiggly guys, especially with the uh, sharp cut this year. And yeah, I got Mike Allstott in number eight. We'll see how that plays out. Next is Bruce Matthews, solid offensive lineman, but I have a tough time ranking an offensive lineman much higher than what he is here. But in terms of uh, just pure statistics, I mean, 87 or uh, 84 run block finesse, 89 run block power. That's really what you're looking at is the finesse and the power. Um, or maybe run block is actually just 87 run block and then uh, pass blocking moves. You have 85 finesse uh, and 89 power. Not too bad. Pretty good lead blocker as a guard. Not the fastest, not the most fleet of foot um, at guard here. But Bruce Matthews, if you can, if you do pick him up, he's going to be a solid addition for your guard position for uh, long term. Shout out to the dog. You can probably hear the dog in the background. Um so yeah, Bruce Matthews I have at number seven, that is. And at the next spot, I actually have Joe Montana. And does not get to any short, medium, or deep route running thresholds. Does get to 90 throw power, though, which is decent. Or route running, uh, throw power, throwing thresholds, accuracy thresholds, not route running. But still a little bit slow at 76 speed, obviously. He's Joe Montana. And um, yeah, doesn't get there, doesn't ability-wise. There was a lot of speculation maybe he would get like set feet lead or pass lead elite maybe some kind of uh, velocity ability but he does not these are his abilities he only gets to tier two gets identifier um not a lot of other good stuff going on for joe montana so i do have him at number six and now we're getting into the top five or not not, not, that, not that guy not that guy uh number five i do have my man bruce smith and he's gonna be a monster for you um and this is so much about the other guys here i mean this is a great card here 83 speed 86 excel 86 finesse uh almost 90 power move you could you could if you wanted to you could get him to 90 power move very easily other stats are really great here below the issue is he doesn't get over 90 on anything just stock which is all right um but bruce smith cards always play pretty good and yeah i mean 88 block shed really really good card he's gonna be a monster that's why he's number five for me and at number four, just even a little bit better, man, is this uh, Warren Sapp. And you could probably even switch these two guys if you wanted to. But 89 block shed, good hit power. Still can pass rush a little bit. By the way, he's 300 pounds in the middle of the of the, uh, of the field. And Warren Sapp cards, man. I mean, 80 speed at D-tackle. I love it. Good pursuit. Warren Sapp cards, man. They just always play just monstrous here. And he does get... Um, I'm not sure why I lost it here, but these are his abilities though. So he does get like goal line stuff, inside stuff is what I was actually um, looking for. He does get inside stuff, which is 
pretty decent to have. More in sidecars, like I said, always just play. Absolutely monstrous, man. We only have a few left here getting into the top three. And number three, I do have Ronnie Lott. Um, great speed at 86 speed. I love this Ronnie Lott card, man. And Ronnie Lott cards always play really good for me. A uh, decent play record. I don't know how much play record really matters. But um, in terms of his coverage stats, you can get him to 90 zone very easily with just a plus one zone strat card. He can still do everything else. I mean, if you had to press him for some reason, you could still do that. But he's versatile in man as a safety, and that's super valuable, especially early in the year. Uh, being able to get uh, over 90 zone and still pretty, I mean, 87 man, and that's really decent. Brings the boom, obviously. He's Ronnie Lott, good block shed, all that good stuff. I love this Ronnie Lott card, man. I think he's going to be an absolute menace um, in in head to head here. Kind of get to see his abilities. I know I've gone over to the abilities with all these guys, but with um, offensive line and running back stuff like that um, doesn't doesn't really matter too much. But these are his abilities: bench press, uh, lumberjack. What is lumberjack? Okay, I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna run that. But yeah, that's running lot. Going to be a monster. He's going for 500k right now. Love the speed. Love the versatility and coverage on the goat Ronnie Lot. And at number two, who else would it be besides LT? Great pass rushing stats. 85 speed. You know he's going to be there. LT cards always play just absolutely insane. Good hit power. Good block shed. Um, you can get him to uh, 90. A 90 pass rush move here, which is great if you have the proper strat cards. I mean, 85 speed, just a little bit quicker than Bruce Smith. Similar pass rush, similar in the run game, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I just like him a little bit better than Bruce. And yeah, I mean, he's LT. He's, you know, he's gonna play. You know, he's gonna play really good for your team. And of course, at number one, I kind of already hinted at the guy. I clicked on him by accident. I mean, that's Randy Moss. That's Randy Moss. 87 speed. Actually, let me go back here. Let me go back and show you. No, not Mama, not Bruce, not Bruce. Let's just show you. Let's just show you LT's abilities right quick before I gush about Randy Moss. Um, here's his tier two, goal line stuff, run stopper, all that good stuff. You can pause. You can pause if you want to. <laughs> no, no good abilities so far. Uh, this this early in the year. I mean, Randy Moss. How do you not love it? Height really matters this year even more. I mean, six four. Of course, he's Randy Moss. 87 speed. Pretty much fastest guy in the game. Gets to 90. Deep route running, still good on the other stuff. 90 spec catch, get to those, gets to those thresholds. Still can wiggle after. I mean, good break tackle. He's Randy Moss, man. He's gonna be, he's gonna be an awesome, awesome receiver. Just absolute monster. And uh, yeah, he's obviously a deep threat. So, Let's see what he gets in terms of abilities. And of course, nothing good, man. I mean, none of these players are really getting anything great. How does he not get like deep out elite? How does Randy Moss not get deep out elite? Like, is it just glitched or, or my? How does Randy Momo not get? I don't know, man. But that is one through ten for you. Uh, Sam Mills, Tony G, Mike Allsup, Bruce Matthews, Montana, Bruce Smith, uh, Warren Sapp, Ronnie Lott, LT, and Randy Moss in that order. So that's that's a good look for you. Who you want to add to your mutt team? on this beautiful saturday first legend saturday of the year all madden champion i don't have the sets in front of me on how you do it, it looks like these 82s go into it somehow here in pop out in 89 but uh yeah these cards are going to be some of the best cards in the game even even sam mills tony g i had them at nine and ten they're still going to be 89 overall cards they're still going to be some of the best at their position all these cards are going to be really good but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys hope you enjoyed uh, trying to get into the mutt world here, ranking these mutt cards. Usually we're over on practice modes, uh, in-game, trying to break down schemes, things like that. But trying to get over to, like I said, get into the mutt world, look at these cards, and uh, break down this way. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know how YouTube works. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. If you like the video, like the channel, all that. And, uh, yeah, hope to catch you guys in the next one. Later.